we spied several of our favorites at the Street Machine Summer Nationals, like this Saturn Yellow Buick GSX, and this super slick bubble top Impala drew us in like a magnet. I spent, well actually I spent about 15, 14, 15 years building the car. I took two cars and put them together, uh, replaced a lot of sheet metal, all new floor. I built the frame from the scratch, ground up frame, put in a stroked 409 Chevy, the 483 cubic inch, put fast fuel injection 2-4 barrel on it, automatic overdrive. It's fun and it's not cheap. <laughs> it, it, it's a good good engine to build with. It's not that different than building a big block Chevy, just a few unique things to it. But uh, other than that, it, it's a good, easy to get parts, even though you pay a little more for them. I like low cars with big wheels, but not oversized wheels. And I like shiny stuff. I've always loved the looks of the, the bubble top roof line on a 62. I wanted the classic 60s Impala SS type look to it. So I used, on the whole car, I used the, the SS moldings on it. I used the 64 SS console with the engine turning in uh, instrument panel. I made an engine turn instrument panel for the gauges all to tie it together. Then I had the upholstery done in a, a pattern similar to a 64 SS, but not exactly the same. So I drive around the country. We yeah, go take it on in cruises and go to little little car shows around town and that stuff. But I uh, haven't got out of state with it yet, but soon I will get more and more confidence in it. I brought out a 1959 Pontiac Catalina convertible. I did all the work myself except for the interior. I just wanted a low stance. I got airbags in it, air ride. Uh, it's got a punched out 389 with an automatic transmission and Colorado wheels. I got them because they look kind of like the Cadillac hubcaps. Color scheme is from a 2000 Volkswagen. It's pearl white, it's three coats of uh, pearl and then uh, two coats of clear. They got a custom seat, got the Indian heads obviously sewn in and uh, put a council in it. That's about it for the inside. It's, it's lovely, smooth as heck. Well, I like blowers and I've kind of always wanted one my whole life and when I found this one on Idaho, I but gotta have it, so. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's actually uh, based on a 454 block. It's board 30, or board 70 over actually, and it's stroked, so it's like a 498. Uh, crank horse is right, right around 10, 1027, uh, with a shot of nitrous on top of that, it's like two and a quarter. Nine inch quarter and turbo 400 uh, transmission with a brake. Um, it's not legal for NHRA, but it's close. <laughs> uh, 983 at 137. And that was my last run of the day because they told me, says, don't do it again. <laughs> From what I've been told, it was the last Downs 34 body to come off their assembly line before they were sold. And the, the quality of the body is really good. And it's actually a Downs chassis and it has Downs uh, A-arms in the front and with a sweet rack and pinion and the rear end is a nine inch board. Uh, somebody told me one day it kind of looks cartoonish and I said, yeah, it kind of does, I guess, just because of the, the wide tires, the, the, rake of the, the rake of the chassis and the air cleaners coming up above the roof line. And so far it's been great, great experience. Well, we hope you enjoyed the trip to the Street Machine Nationals here in St. Paul, Minnesota. We enjoyed checking out the cars. Can't see them all, there's just too many. If you want to see more of the event, go to our website at VATVshow.com or check out the official event page at StreetMachineNationals.net. We'll see you next time.